coming in hot and we are officially a quarter of the way through the season, which is a fairly decent sample size. And we've surmised is that, yeah, Paul Goldschmidt and Pete Alonso are off to giant sized starts. Goldie ranks top five in most offensive categories, while polar bear Pete Alonso has been a big part of the Mets' success. So, Keith, who is the best first baseman in the NL? It's Goldie, and y'all know it's Goldie. I mean, at this point, he's been doing this for a long time, and he's having the season this year that is making everyone talk about him. Like, he's kind of underrated, which is weird. Like right. Paul Goldschmidt, we don't always throw his name out there, but he's been an all-star. He's leading the way. He's got a, what, 21-game hit streak now. He destroyed the, the month of May. Like, it's, it's Goldie, if you ask me. Well, longest hit streak since pool holes in 03, so, yeah. It's going crazy, MVP stuff. Pretty. Leading the National okay. League in OPS. Yeah. Um, Pete Alonzo, I'm going to let you finish, but Paul Goldschmidt, <laughs> Paul Goldschmidt has had one of the best music, I mean, one of the best Mays <laughs> of all time. Like, this is what we're talking about. 17 of his last 29 base hits have been for extra base hits. He's just crushing the baseball. He makes it look so easy. I know Freddie Freeman is doing his thing, Pete Alonzo, but nobody is comparing to what Paul Goldsmith has done. And even in a time when the Cardinals really need it, you think about how many injuries they've had, all these guys coming up, Nolan Gorman, Donovan, uh, Edmund going to shortstop. This is when they really need it right now. And he showed up big time. He's been the best, not only the best first baseman, arguably the best player in the NL right now. Oh, okay. Here's the thing. Pete Alonso, I think, happens to be um, our nation's foremost uh, home run derby player who just happens to also do some baseball on the side. Like, <laughs> if the home run derby was a league, Pete Alonso <laughs> would be the best be perennial champion every year, year in and year out. But his defense and base running is a little bit of a liability. Like, since the start of 2019 when he debuted, I think he's fifth in war for first baseman, and this year he's behind both Paul Goldschmidt and Freddie Freeman. I feel like we should have given Freeman some love in this segment. Yeah. Well, I said, we are I right said now. Freeman. Yeah, I, I gave Freeman a little bit of love. Yeah. It's a big but three in at, L.A. Yeah. I'm mean, looking at Goldschmidt, three, 352 uh, average. I mean, what he's done has been absolutely ridiculous. And this is a Cardinals team that's right there with the Brewers right now. We weren't talking about the Cardinals during this offseason. We were talking about the Brewers, how good their pitching is. I look at the Cardinals. The offense has been there. Guys have stepped up. And Goldie's been one of the biggest reasons they are where they're at right now. Yeah, but do you think I think Freddie Freeman is making the Braves regret their decision. Uh, I, I don't think Good so. Good question. I know we unpacked that earlier in the season. Yeah, but I mean, we, still have, time. A lot we still have time, right? Like, you look at Matt Olson, he's still going to perform at some point. He's going to get closer to his numbers that we've seen in the past. But yeah, anytime, right you, now, anytime Freddie Freeman leaves, yeah. I mean, that's tough to swallow. Olson still leads the majors in doubles there with 21. All right, we're, we're pretty much all in agreement on that topic. I know. That's why I, you guys, you guys <laughs> talked first, and I was like, no, 